death is bliss what is death each as as an individual you have two aspects one is visible the other is invisible through the sense organs you come in contact with the visible if your eyes are open you can see all that is visible our focus remains on the visible if you go into those sense organs which are subtle the smell is the subtle and there are others and when you transcend the boundaries of sense organs you enter the subtle realm where you feel the energy as long as your eyes are open you can see the physical aspect but you cannot feel the energy level of the person so death is that realm when you move from the physical to the subtle aspect when an individual dies as we know his realm of operation changes he is no more available at the physical plane but he is available at the level at the plane of energy you are no more bound by emotions you are no more bound by thoughts or all that is physical and when you reach to that realm then death becomes a bliss death becomes the ultimate flowering of meditation then death becomes a relaxation because of emotions because of the sense organs we can never remain relaxed it is indeed real state of relaxation deep inside you surrender you welcome the moment of annihilation it can be said that you are annihilated the drop merges in the ocean the entire water of the river merges drop by drop in the ocean it loses its identity as micro but it becomes magnanimous it attains to the quality of the ocean it is no more identified as the drop of river by its various names instead it becomes oceanic this is the aspect one shore of enlightenment this is known as annihilation or fun welcome this moment you have known life now you have known death as well those who understand this aspect they know that is bliss that is celebration that is the ultimate flowering of meditation that is celebration for one who is dying and also it should be celebration for those around when we talk about the physical aspect of it at the moment one is changing the realm or dying tremendous energy is released because all that was condensed that was blocked within the narrow boundaries is getting free and is being released to the entire cosmos instead of lamenting over the death of the person if you become available to that energy that is being released at that moment one can be enlightened the very moment if you are available to this energy you can attain certainly attain to enlightenment that very moment however this never happens only a rare one dies singing and dancing full of awareness the masters have entered that realm knowingly full of awareness so this applies both to the people around they are lamenting and also the one who is dying he is afraid because he had not experienced the moment of moving from the physical realm to the subtle one we continue to live in the past the past hangs around 
like a big stone to drown you. If moment to moment a circumstance and situation have finished, we gather whatever is to be learned from that and move on. We do not keep those memories with us. And more so, these memories come onto the surface when you are in a different next situation. When you go to a restaurant, you are not available to that very moment when the platter is in front of you that can satiate you. Instead, you remain talking about that restaurant which you had visited earlier and you miss this present moment. When next time you visit another, then you will remember the restaurant that you are eating right now. You have lived with a man or a woman. You never lived in awareness. When you change partner or you move to another one, then you remember the qualities, then you remember that other person. Death means living moment to moment and the moment you are finished, you say bye-bye to it and that's finished. Simple example, a person comes to visit your place. He says, okay, let me go now. So he is walking out. You follow the person. You reach in the gallery and again continue the talk. Then the person says, it is getting late, let me go. He says, okay, that's all right. You reach by the gate. The person opens the car. When someone has said, okay, let me go, that is the final. I don't need to do anything else because you have said bye. And bye means the final for this moment. And that's it. So dying to the moment and entering into another unknown and unknowable moment is living in the world and experiencing death moment to moment. When a person dies, he looks beautiful and silent too because now he cannot grumble anymore. If he was a person who used to grumble on petty things, small things, now he cannot. So he will look beautiful and silent. Can't you see from this? If you die to that very moment, when someone has said something, this is his way of expressing that. I do not need to give any clarification for that. Okay, thank you. So you will become silent and will look beautiful. This does not mean the person died in silence or full of beauty and peace. Very rarely does a person die beautifully, full of gratitude for all that he has received, all that he was able to do in bliss and harmony. 99% people struggle tremendously before death actually happens because we have not learned the art of dying moment to moment. And in fight, great stress arises. Such is the story of almost everyone. Rare is the one whose death becomes a celebration. Just imagine a small ants crawling on your body. Or a small thorn in your foot. And how uncomfortable you become. A small headache, a stomach ache or a little disturbed and how much you become concerned, just imagine. I said very few rare persons have entered death full of awareness. Ospensky, the disciple of Gurdjieff, was the one who said that he do not want to die lying down. So he continued to walk and a moment came. He keep on narrating how the life force is moving from this particular part until a situation reached that I cannot walk anymore. And then he entered into death. 
there are many masters I can go on speaking on that but that will be in another session now in the moment of death body and soul are disintegrating body is being taken apart soul cannot exist then without the body with the body you have become so much involved that in the process you have forgotten that soul or the energy field does exist as well you have forgotten that you are consciousness you are soul the flowering of the soul has not yet happened and now the body is disintegrating you lament this is what death is you have not experienced that which is beyond birth and death that is that never dies is never born the light the rue that comes at the moment of birth always exists it never dies and never born you have no experience soul needs the body to blossom and it spread its fragrance body is known and soul remains the unknown to you now you are being taken apart you cling to the body the known you cannot leave claims with the body this indeed becomes very difficult therefore reluctantly fighting is struggling and crying yet unwillingly you leave the connection with the body and even after you leave the body the soul continues to hover around that is why we have the process of creation but nobody sees it it is something inside you only you can see it you cannot even say anything you die in misery only a few people the rare one dies blissfully a blissful death becomes samadhi the ultimate flowering in meditation when death is a relaxation it is indeed the real one deep inside you surrender you welcome the moment of annihilation you have known life and now you want to know death as well you have lived life you have enjoyed every moment of it a great trust has arisen in you about life now you want to know that which is beyond life the other side death is the culmination of life death is the culmination of life it is the final offering if life is a sacrificial fire then death is the ultimate offering into that therefore death is the crescendo of life if life is a yajna the sacrificial fire that is being lit by hindus during ceremonies then death is the final offering in the sacrificial fire it must be beautiful when the whole journey has been beautiful why not the goal there is no reason to be afraid when the whole journey has been such a tremendous joy and fulfillment you have been living moment to moment why not the end as well it is the culmination you have come home you welcome death you are ready to embrace death you relax you simply slip into the, into death like the dew drop slipping from the leaf into the lake look with that sound the dew drop slips from the lotus leaf and merges with the lake and that is the moment if you can die without any fight you do not die indeed this is annihilation this is the first step annihilation is followed by subsistence in god or what sufis call or use the term as baka 
Together these lead to resurrection as Christians call this. You enter the unknown knowingly, willingly and blissfully and you are never born again then. You have simply slipped out of the body confinements of the world. Body confinements or the world, you live. You live eternally. But then you live as an unembodied existence with no limitations, no boundaries to look at the cyberspace. My words are restricted. My presence is restricted to where I am. But the words that are coming out of me, they, are, they have a quality of transcendence. They travel beyond the physical limitations, the boundaries of the nations, the political systems, the restrictions of various kinds. They reach, they reach you beyond all limitations. Body gives you a boundary. With body indeed comes the limitations. Death takes away all boundaries and limitations from you. Body gives you a definition. It gives you the boundaries of the mind and intellect. Body makes you a man or a woman. Body makes you ugly or beautiful and the dimension of the body. Mind makes you intelligent or unintelligent. Thus, body-mind realm makes you this and that. And you are defined. Death takes away all definitions and finiteness as well. It simply leaves life undefined. Life undefined is what God is. But to know this, death you will have to embrace. You have to know, you have known life, now you have to know the unknown. And that is the way to enter into the realm of death beyond time and space. So next time when a beautiful moment passes by, think in terms of life, what a beautiful moment to live and dance and be alive. Then one day when death comes, you will say the same to death, what a beautiful moment to emulate to die. All moments are beautiful. Once you have to be receptive and surrendering, all moments are blissful, only you have to be capable of seeing the beauty of it. All moments are benedictions, only you have to develop such understanding. If you accept with a deep gratitude, nothing ever goes wrong. This is what Jesus did while on the cross. One moment he was full of complaints, Father, why have you forsaken me? Next moment total relaxation happens. Full of ecstasy and gratitude for all that existence has been to him, Jesus proclaims, let thy will prevail. This is the moment Jesus attains to that which remains unborn. The experience of that which is unborn was already in him. Now Jesus attains to totality. Fana or annihilation merge into one another to create resurrection. The embodied soul became unembodied. Jesus is resurrected. And then the disembodied self appears as embodied self and this is the moment, this is the ultimate in life and death. When the drop merges in the ocean, 
and it is not that there is a time gap that first the drop will merge in the ocean it will take a time then ocean will lend its quality to the drop the moment drop merges in the ocean annihilation happens that very moment a resurrection happens the embodied soul becomes disembodied jesus is resurrected and then the disembodied self appears as embodied self this is resurrection and that is what said jesus appeared but he appeared only to those who had trust the disembodied self appears as embodied one you are sitting in meditation in the company of a sheikh you start the meditation with eyes open you are aware of his physical presence then as you close your eyes and you enter into the deeper realm the body disappears only a presence remains that intoxicates you in that the disembodied self which was embodied first then as you close your eyes that physical being disappears but the master appears at a different level at the level of energy you are connected to his level of energy as long as i am talking you are connected to the physical being of the person but the moment you go deeper into meditation you realize you are not hearing the voice you are not seeing the physical presence instead you are feeling the subtle presence the energy field that is what relax that is what resurrection is jesus is no more physically available he cannot touch he cannot speak but his energy can be felt and the moment you are capable of feeling the energy field of the master you have and connected to that master beyond the realm of the physical this is an experience of resurrection death is bliss